Hello everyone! Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time you're, you are watching this video. We are live! We are Connie and Bell, and tonight we are going to talk about, wait, eight unusual ways to get online projects. That is how to get clients online outside freelancing websites. So watch out for that. But before that, we will be right back. So again, we are Connie and Belle, and we are here to share with you how to start and scale your freelancing business with God as the real boss so if you're watching us for the very first time make sure that you are subscribed and you click the bell so that you can get notified once we go live which is usually 8 p.m on mondays and thursdays philippine time so can you share this bell what do we do Hello. On the <laughs> okay it's the time of day again <laughs> my dog is again barking over here <laughs> So you know yeah. what time is it? <laughs> so every Monday, guys, every Monday uh, at 8 p.m., we do our live live praise and worship. So we, are, we invite everyone to join us, sing worship songs, and just allow yourselves to be blessed every Monday with this live praise and worship session. And then every Thursday, as Sis Cons already mentioned, we go live at 8 p.m. and usually we talk about um, um, tips and um, <laughs> tips and tricks about freelancing and we also interview some guests from the freelancing industry so if you're uh, if you're an aspiring freelancer do catch us live every Thursday at 8 p.m. yes but before that let's remember uh, let's have a prayer first <laughs> before starting <laughs> let's remember that we are in the presence of god in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen lord we praise you we glorify you we honor you we thank you for blessing us these past few days we're grateful for all the resources and the people you're sending our way so we are able to bless others and do what you called us to do we ask for forgiveness for every wrongdoings we committed we lift up to you every person who is watching and listening to this podcast. We pray you open their hearts and minds so that whatever we share with them will create an impact in their freelancing journey. We also lift up to you, Bell and I, as well as our live audience tonight. Pour out your Holy Spirit in us so we will continue to have the courage to say the right words, to share what you're teaching us with the goal of telling your truth. Help us, especially our brothers and sisters, build a thriving freelance business while we grow and strengthen our faith and relationship with you as our Lord. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So there. Okay. Um, our topic is about unusual ways to get online projects. But before we go with the main topic, I will share my book again. If you haven't checked it out yet, you can go to conizabala.com slash VA book. Actually, I will be giving away an ebook copy to some OIVAC, Online International Virtual Assistant Conference attendees. So I'm giving some of them this copy, ebook, ebook copy. So if you're interested, ebook, Kindle, printed, audiobook, those are available. Just go to that website, conizabala.com slash VA book. There. So. If they're one, if they're curious, is what is OIVAC again? <laughs> uh, OIVAC is Online International Virtual Assistant Conference, which mm -hmm. is starting tonight because um, EST is third time, eight o'clock Eastern time, at May nineteenth today tonight. <laughs> so it's starting right now. Oh my God! <laughs> so if you wanna check it out, just go to bitly that's bit.ly slash 
OIVAC. O-I-V-A-C-2022. That's number 2022. There. You can actually get some free tickets if you're attending live. So visit there if you're interested. I'll be speaking there. Uh, by the way, and I will be talking about five P's of YouTube organic strategies. And my talk will be um, tomorrow, May 20th at 8.30 a.m. EST. So that would be 8.30 p.m. for us Filipinos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, so our topic again are unusual ways or maybe uh, alternative ways to get online project because sometimes we rely on Upwork or other freelancing websites like onlinejobs.ph or freelancer or um, if I remember everything, uh, Fiverr, um, people per hour, angel mm -hmm. list. It seems like you have you have your account set up in every, yes. every platform. Yes, and if you're actually a graphic design, um, they have other platforms for that, specific platforms for that even. So, anyway, so that's not that that's not the point of our talk tonight. That's outside. Today is outside those uh, freelancing websites. So let's go ahead with our anchor Bible verse for tonight, which is from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not grow tired of doing good, for in due time we shall reap our harvest if we do not give up. Again, let us not grow tired of doing good, for in due time we shall reap our harvest if we do not give up. So, can you share more about your thoughts in connection with our Bible verse for tonight? Yes, in, um, I reflected on this verse and it just reminded me that God sees us, <laughs> brothers and sisters. God sees us. God, he sees all our efforts. So, uh, all our efforts, all our uh, struggles, so we just have to trust that every every win, every rejection that we encounter along the way is always according to his perfect plan. We may we may tend to overanalyze, overthink. I should be, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. Why is this not working? Things like that. But always remember that it, that it's always God who sees the bigger picture. We can we could plan all we want, but his plan, his um, his goals for us is much much bigger to whatever it is that we're thinking that we're trying to reach. So just trust, and then he will lead you there <laughs> to that victory. <laughs> yes, just want to add on that. Um, if it's um, let's quote uh Patrick Starfish from <laughs> SpongeBob. Um, if it's not a hap, I know it, if it's not, if the ending is not happy, it's not yet the end. Yes. So always expect that God's plan, that the end goal here is victory. So even if, if it's not according to our plan, I'm sure God has the best plan for us. So there. From and who again? For me, from who again, Patrick Star? Starfish. Yeah. Wow. Deep. Yes. Imagine. I that love line, that. Um, if the end is not yet happy, I, I think that. happy is the word. I'm not sure yeah. if happy is the word. It's, it's not, not yet, yet the ending. Yet. Wow. Yet ends. <laughs> I just remember it that because somebody uh, mentioned it to me. Or I read it somewhere. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, um, for me, my simple interpretation for this uh, Bible verse is, you know, a simple remind reminder to everyone, including us, that no matter what our situation is in the freelancing industry, always do what is best. Always do good. So if you if you believe you are meant to be in this business however challenging you may feel 
then you know that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. So keep doing good because God never forgets those who follow Him. So when you reach the end and you think you've given everything, then just surrender because God will provide and believe that He will. And then um, for sure, from the tips that we will be giving you today, I'm 100% sure this is a guarantee. <laughs> if, you, if you've if you done everything, I'm sure you will not be client less for, for a long time because God is watching us. God is there. And if He sees the hard work that you've done, expect the blessing after. So, so that, that, that's for yes. me. That's for the verse for tonight. Yes. So again, um, this Bible verse that we share with you is an invitation for you to check the whole story of the Bible so that you can understand the entirety and the context behind those verses. So we are here to encourage you to always include God in your freelancing journey. So as we talk about the unusual ways to get online projects, make sure that um, ask some questions. If you have, make a comment, share your thoughts with us. So let's go ahead. Before, by the way, before we do, we share with you the ways, uh, we'd like to take note that these um, ways, these things, these tips should be done right after you finding already your niche you, or your skills to offer and what type of client you want to work with. So it's really important because everything that we share with you will be useless if you haven't decided which skill to offer yet and what type of clients you want to work with. Okay, so there. So the eight unusual ways to get online projects is under, I was thinking of, this is eight, right? So I was thinking of the word to, again, to, how do you call that? <laughs> to easy, for it to for us to easily remember the tips. So I've, I've created mm. it under the optimize. Optimize. So O-P-T-I-M-I-Z. Oh my God. So, Am I lagging, sis? <laughs> Sorry. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, I can, but my internet, I think, is acting um, up again. <laughs> yes, you're a bit delayed. There. Okay. <laughs> Lord, okay. please. <laughs> okay, let's go start with the first one, which is O. So, online profiles. I would use the, I would even use the optimized word to be optimized in the first letter, online. Optimize online profile so what are these online profiles it can be your website it it can be your uh, social media pages your facebook uh, linkedin twitter whatever it is uh, instagram um even your your uh, forum if you if you like um engaging in communities in forums or if you have other pages whatever type of page is that um you can get clients by making sure that those pages are optimized, of course. What does it mean, Sis Bell? Uh, what does optimize yeah, mean op when it comes to online profile? So, op yeah, optimize means that at a glance, when when people stalk, <laughs> stalk on your <laughs> social media accounts, they will have an idea right away what, what it is that you do online what are the types of services that you provide and it also it 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 doesn't uh it, it it it's not only required on your business pages you could already do that on your personal um profile like if you have a facebook profile you could put in there the in the bio your link your social media accounts with how clients get, would be able to connect your booking link for discovery calls, you could place them there as well. Um, some even use the Facebook Facebook banner to to share what 
uh, the type of services they, that they provide. I'm guilty because I haven't updated my banner. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't imitate me. <laughs> you should be maximizing that. Update your Facebook profile banner, and that's it. That's that's how you optimize it. And for the website, it's not really. Don't be too overwhelmed. It's not really mandatory that you have your website right away, especially if you're just starting out. Um, you could uh, it does it doesn't have to be uh, a full website. You could do a simple um, one-page website using the free using free platforms like Canva, um, Adobe. How do you call it? Adobe Spark? So there are a lot of free softwares out there where, where you could um, set up your one-page websites, and that would do. Don't overthink because some, <laughs> I know of a lot of people that um, sometimes they get stuck because their websites are, are not yet ready. So I just remind them that it, it's not really a requirement. It's, not, it's really connecting and um, optimizing your social media profiles. Make do with what you have. Don't overthink. Yes. <laughs> yes. And if you're wondering about that, I, I believe we have some videos on this channel. You can look for it. And with and when it comes to um, finding your niche or identifying your ideal clients, we have that as well. I believe I created short videos about it uh, years ago. So you can check the link in the description. And you'll understand what what we are referring to what we are talking about and for if you don't if you don't feel like having a website then i highly suggest to create your linkedin linkedin profile because linkedin profile is the social media for professionals so people there are expecting to connect for business so it's not it's not something that will be surprising to the people you reach out to. So you yeah. can start with LinkedIn and you can share yeah, your experience there, including the... Yeah, a... you... Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so go ahead, sis. <laughs> um, you can um, enter your or, or add your corporate experience, whatever experience you had in the past, you can add those on your LinkedIn profile so that the people who are visiting your profile can see the journey that you had in the past. So it's okay if it's not related to the skills that that you choose today to offer today. So anything you'd like to add, Sisbel? Yeah, in addition to that, Sis, LinkedIn is uh, um, always on, like, like when people um, Google your name, it's always LinkedIn. If you don't have a website yet, it's always LinkedIn that um, is the first um, first hit to be displayed when people search on your name. So it's really, it's really, it would it would it would be better if you optimize it now <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> yes, and when it, when when say optimize, you have your offer, you have your target client or market. So for example, for me, if I'm going to optimize my channel. I have this line that I help personal development coaches generate more leads. That's how I help them through YouTube videos, through optimized YouTube videos. So if you can put that in your profile, then your profile is already optimized because some some social media pages uh, are, have very limited characters, number of characters that you can put on. So you can just use one sentence for that or you can just, it's up to you. Just make sure that whoever visit those online profiles, they understand what you do and what type of person you help. Okay, so that's for number one. <laughs> if you haven't get it yet, please make sure that your profiles are optimized. Yeah, I just <laughs> tried it, sis. <laughs> just to, just to, just to um check on our profiles i tried to google your name it's really the linkedin page that that is on top of the list so after that after the linkedin the, your other social media profiles pops up and also your youtube channel so there 
Make oh, use keywords, thinking. by the way. Yes. yes. Make use, use keywords. <laughs> yep, yep. There, that's that's for number one. So number two, you're already familiar with this, but sometimes we forget and we take for granted. So this is letter P, personal network or referral. So share with share more about that, Isabel. Yes, when I was, I remember when I was starting out as a freelancer, my first um, service <laughs> offer was social media management. So what I did was to ask my um, friends and family who have small businesses, like I know they ha they are operating <laughs> Facebook pages because I see them promoting it. And then that's, that's where I tried to... Uh, that's when I tried to reach them out. I I asked if they need someone who would manage their social media profiles, and it re it really it is really helpful to announce it to the world <laughs> what you do, what is it that you do. Because like for me, they know me before as someone who goes to the office. I'm a corporate employee, right? So they won't know that I've already transitioned. They, they just got updated with what I do when I promoted it on my own Facebook wall. So that's, that's one example. I, I really announced to the world that I'm uh, um, offering social media management services. And another thing, <laughs> this, uh, I also tried this um, trick when I was, there are times when your budget is, becoming short <laughs> so what to do i have i have softwares with me like i i remember this uh, i have a software called uh, videos and it's used to make animated logos so what i did again i announced to the to in my facebook profile that i'm willing to create 10 anim, uh, animated logos for the first 10 people <laughs> so I put in a rate there. So that's not bad, right? In in a day, you'd be able to raise funds when when emergencies arise. <laughs> so that's one trick. Don't don't be afraid or don't be ashamed to sell. That's the mm. idea. You have something to sell. They, uh, so you make use of it. You you try to monetize um whatever it is that's already in your hands. So I don't need to think, to overthink. I already have. I already have this software. Why not monetize it again? I just announce it to my family and friends. So not. It it doesn't require much. So there. Yes. Don't be shy because some some freelancers who are just starting out, they're re they are really really shy to to share that with their friends. I don't know. It, it might be. It could be different reasons for different people, but again, we are online service providers, so we can't help it but really be more visible in yes. our social media accounts. Yes, please do not, um, do not let the introvert side of you win you over. <laughs> you have to announce what you do. You do. You need you remove the shyness and. Because when your bills are coming in, they don't shy away from you. So. <laughs> yes. And, and it, helps, it helps also, like, if your friends, um, for example, today they don't need your service, you, um, just posting what you do makes you a top-of-mind person in the future. Like, I have friends that they remember me because they have... Um, uh, colleagues who are uh, needing someone to set up their website, something like that. So they remember me from, from my old, old, old advertisement on my wall. So they know what I do. So, so do that. <laughs> yes. And um, don't assume, don't assume that there are no people in your network that would be interested in what you offer because um, these personal network or referrals are not just from family and friends. They can be from friends of your friends, 
right? Yes. And then the, uh, the referrals can come from former prospects. So, for example, already talked in the past. Like for me, I have someone I talked to last year, but she cannot afford my rate. So, and it's not what YouTube or YouTube strategies is not her priority but now that she was thinking it over she contacted me again mm. so that's yes. something that you don't want to forget and then of course you can ask referrals from your fellow freelancers don't think of it as a competition again this is collaboration or since we are focused since we have different skills to offer you cannot really get all the clients you know <laughs> and then um you can also get referrals from your clients whether they are old clients or where whether they are current or new clients um i believe sisbel is the number one um <laughs> who can relate to that because most of her clients are referrals can you share more yes. about <laughs> yes the the key to that is when you are when when you have a client, always give your one hundred and one percent. Even if it's the, even if she or he is the most difficult client ever, still give your one hundred and one percent because chances are, when they have um, friends or colleagues who would be wanting the same service, again top of mind, top of mind, they will remember you. They will re refer you right away. Because uh, hard work and patience always pays off. <laughs> yes. And remember our verse for tonight. That's why this is the one that I'd like to share. Again, let us know, grow tired of doing good. For in due time, you shall reap our harvest if we do not give up. See? So, Sisbel is reaping the harvest. <laughs> Of, of of providing the best service that she can because she is continually being referred by her clients. See? Yes, thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it's not even uh, requiring you a great effort, you know, because they these clients are doing it on their own. You're not even per actively. pursuing them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actively <laughs> applying yet. <laughs> But I want, I want, I wanted to if I have the time because I want to also help other freelancers, like the people we know. So I have to, you know, prospecting. So that's another topic. <laughs> that's another yes. need of Ciscons and mine as well. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead with number three, which is T. This is unusual. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite unusual. <laughs> so where, sis, where? <laughs> you explain. <laughs> Tools or apps online to meet people. So if you are single and you're familiar with sort uh, what we call dating apps or for some relationship coaches they call it online meeting because dating should be personal should be face to face and not online so anyway so if you're on let me re um, recall all those dating <laughs> apps like for are example you, are you going to name them <laughs> yes i'm going to name them <laughs> um tinder is very familiar but bumble is um another because bumble in bumble you have i think you have three options there uh what is your goal for creating that account so they are asking you so if do you want to meet just friends or do you want to meet someone who you know for a relationship or something casual dating whatever and then there is also for networking for your business so bumble wow. has that yes so you can use that and some i'm not sure what are the other dating apps but those are the two familiar um apps that i observe and jan the our former guest <laughs> is doing these things they are she's connecting with them because the, she's practicing 
her communication, you know, skills and all that. And it's okay if you can't find clients there, but there are prospects there. There are prospects. So we have, I don't have an exact experience <laughs> on this one because I'm not going there for clients. So I'm going there for personal reasons. So that's another <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead with the uh, step four or <laughs> so we don't need four. to optimize <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I don't need to optimize <laughs> if I were to use the Bumble one because they have uh, networking for business so yeah. nice yeah so number four <laughs> For the optimize, for is inhabitants. What do we mean by that? This is the group or the community. So what are those group or community? Facebook groups, um, LinkedIn groups, or forums like um, Quora or uh, Reddit. So for those groups, you can actually find more specific. Like for example, since we already mentioned that we have we already identified our ideal clients and the skills that we want to offer we will be searching for particular groups so for example for sis bell and i we are serving coaches personal development coaches or we are serving online course creators so you can look on facebook those type of groups you can just type in online course creators and then choose groups or you can um add sorry I, I am distracted with the messages so you can add um personal development coaches or life coaches there are different groups especially on facebook they are very uh there are many many facebook groups that you can connect with even ecom business owners so if for example you're serving ecom businesses you can search for that as well. The same thing for LinkedIn, but it's not as active, but they are improving right now. I believe they, they are more active right now compared to, what, five years ago. So there. And I think you have something to share about the tools that you're using to find clients, Isabel. <laughs> tools? <laughs> Do have... Tools or software. Like, for example, um, your, your offer is Kajabi, right? So, mm -hmm. Kajabi, the, the official oh. software. Oh, yeah. yeah. The brand, one brand of, uh, how do you software. call this? Learning Online management. Course. Online yes. course platform. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, when, when you are specializing um, in a particular software, you could already search for um, groups. There are a lot of groups. Like... Um, for online course platforms, um, they have a, an official group for Kajabi. They have an official group for Member Vault, Teachable, Pinkific, and and so on. So just just um, join those groups and not, don't don't just join and not do anything. Okay, <laughs> that's the time that you show your expertise. You try to help um, group members inside the group when when there are course creators or entrepreneurs asking for help. That's the time for you to, to help and give value to those who are asking. Don't just, <laughs> don't just, what's the term? Like, stalk, uh, uh, what's the term again? Lurker. Lurker, lurker. <laughs> <laughs> Make your presence felt inside those um, Facebook groups. Yes, don't just join. Be visible. So if people are asking questions and you know the answer, feel free to answer. Feel free to comment. So it's very important that you make sure that people or the group members are seeing you because one way or another, they're going to check your profile. So it's important, again, to optimize it's your profile. connected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just joining and not doing anything, okay? You have to be active inside. <laughs> so next is um, letter M. 
But before we continue, if you are getting value from this video, please do click the thumbs up or like button. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. And for our podcast listeners, make sure that you subscribe <laughs> and leave a review. So anyway, for our uh, next tip, Number five, for the optimize, we are on our letter M, which is messaging. So messaging can be cold email, can be a follow-up email, can also be direct or instant messages. So can you give an example about this? Yeah, we, um, you can do this um, on LinkedIn if, or, or Facebook. Is, that, is, this, the, is this the one? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, messaging, <laughs> messaging. <laughs> you if you have um if you did the research like you were able to get uh, email addresses of your prospective clients, don't be shy to send them an email or a message. That's what you call cold <laughs> cold outreach, right? Right sis. <laughs> Try yes. to create a conversation with those emails and messages. But again, this is related to our previous um, video. <laughs> Be yes. sure to, <laughs> to, make it, um, to, ma to make it more personal, to personalize it, not really that heavy, heavy template. Don't use a heavy template when sending out messages because people will right away notice that <laughs> so just yeah. be just just be human as possible <laughs> as much as possible so yeah. there messaging uh, uh, any any platform that has a messaging feature try to use that facebook linkedin and yes. the rest just have a simple conversation as for me for example i have a past client so it was I think it was during New Year. I thought of sending New Year greetings for my former clients. I said I just sent that image. Happy New Year. I hope you're doing good. Something like that. And then she suddenly responded, Hey Connie, how are you? By the way, I was thinking about um I have a need for video editor. Nice. So you can get clients by doing that follow up emails or just simple greetings, holiday greeting image emails. Or if for example you remember you saw a tip or a blog about something that can be helpful to your past prospect or past client and then you just sent them an email that I hope um for example um I saw this blog and I thought of you. Something like that. Yeah. You know, because you, you just want them to remind that you work in the past or something. You you have been connected before. Something like that. So it, it doesn't hurt. So it's yeah. feel free to send them a message. Just don't spam them. <laughs> yes, <Again>. please. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so next is... This messaging is actually connected to the next one because um, we will be needing to uh, do this research inquiry. So letter I is inquiries. This is uh, searching using Google to search email addresses or if, for example, you're in a group and you want to get to know this person, you will be sort of... Uh, data mining or scraping mm -hmm. the information like getting the email addresses, getting the websites, getting the social media pages. So whatever you offer, like for example, sometimes I do that. I, For example, I join a group and they have this YouTube channel. So I'll check that YouTube channel and then I'll find out what they can improve on. And then you can send them an email telling them that you know that you can actually do this on your channel something like that so you can add value you can <laughs> give some value before actually asking if they need something you can just give some tips or you can ask them if they're willing to have an audit for example your your um uh website designer so you found that their website is like this so 
get in touch with them, offer them a free audit. You don't need to audit every page. You can just give them at least five or three to five things yeah. that they can improve, you know, for their website there. Yeah. And for me, I usually suggest them something to change on their channel. So there. And what else? What did I write? Anything you'd like to add? Yeah, for, for me, my process is, again, on LinkedIn. Because on LinkedIn, you could already filter um, people according to their title, right? So sometimes I do a search. I put in a coach, life coach, personal development coach. Anything that has a coach in the title, I try to list them down and see from and try to re do a research on those people that that comes from that list and then see um, who among these coaches are offering um, face to face events and then see if they already have an online course so those are my those are my ta targets because sometimes um, these coaches do not um, just do not have an idea yet that they could repackage their face-to-face -face events into something online. So that's when I do my, that, that's how I approach um, these um, coaches, these prospective clients, and ask them if, if, they, if they, they're aware of that, something like that. But again, no selling first. Please try to strike a conversation first. Just really be curious about what they do, what they do currently. And so from there, they'll be also interested in what you do. <laughs> so there, LinkedIn again. <laughs> yes, and another uh, tip, since you are researching and getting those information, like for example, email, website, and social media, make sure that you have a sheet where you can record those information. So I will share something later. So make sure that you are watching until the end. <laughs> so, if you are getting value from this live session, make sure that you click the thumbs up button. So for the number seven, this is a little challenging because we are using the optimize word with a Z. <laughs> With the Z, so this was a little different from the usual uh, ways that we are sharing you. This is more of a character of a freelancer. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how can I share this. <laughs> <laughs> so, no one can beat. It's, it's impossible that you don't have a client if you are a zealous or a persuasive freelancer. What is zealous? Someone who is passionate someone who is enthusiastic okay so can you add something more <laughs> yeah like for uh, first impressions last they say right so during a discovery call try to be um how do you call this my husband is describing me as like a switch that is being turned on every time i do discovery call because after after the call i, I go like this <laughs> <laughs> so that that's the introvert side of me <laughs> that's what happens but you know during a discovery call um, you should bring that energy that you are excited to know this person to know more about the business to know how you could be of help to this uh, prospective client and it will really um, um, the, the, the prospective client will really feel that <laughs> that energy be passionate with how you explain things um don't don't be intimate intimidated with their being as the ceo of the company because after all you are still the ceo of your own freelance business yes. right <laughs> so there i think i i want to add something i i remember if you Sales has to do with it as well because, for example, on Friends, I'm not, I'm not sure if rem you remember this. So there was this episode where Joey is alone on his apartment and someone, this is old school, someone who is selling an encyclopedia. 
<laughs> is talking to Joey. So that is uh, portrayed by um, Matt LeBlanc. So there. So this this um, encyclopedia salesman is asking Joey, is using Joey's language. So he was um, he was asking Joey, um, do you feel out of place when your friends <laughs> use this word and you cannot relate, something like that? <laughs> <laughs> and you feel um, disconnected. So there were some scenes that he recalled. Joey is recalling, yes, recalling those situations. So, so <laughs> that was a good example of speaking the language of your ideal client. So even if Joey don't have the money during that time, because uh, this man is selling during daytime and Joey is just at home, what can you expect from people in the U.S. at home, you know, at that time during the 90s? <laughs> So, he wasn't able to buy the whole set of the encyclopedia, <laughs> which is, I believe, is alphabetical. Right? So, since they were already um, um, discussing the letter V, like, for example, volcano or something, all the words starting with V. So, Joey purchased the letter V. Yes. <laughs> so, that's how Zelus that salesman is. That's how great the salesman is. <laughs> yeah. It was something that we can use until today because he really um, connected to his audience even if he doesn't have enough money yeah. to buy the whole set. <laughs> At again, least he has one <laughs> Yeah, again, we are businesses. We are business owners. We're not being employed, we cannot count on the employer to to do the matching for us, client matching for us. We do we need to do the the work. <laughs> yes. So that's the seventh unusual way <laughs> to get online um, projects. So before we go ahead with number eight, make sure that you are subscribed if you are not doing it yet, and if you are seeing us for the first time. Subscribe, click the bell, and click like or thumbs up. So number eight is, I believe, something we can apply even today, especially that we are slowly going back to the new, well, actually, new normal. So uh, from events, e-events, both online and offline. So example of that is, of course, the paid events that you you register to whether these are face-to-face -face events or online events or if you have some meetups you are just networking you know you can do that as well if, for example if you're familiar with feast conference you can actually connect with some uh prospects there you know or if you if you're just attending a concert even you can connect with people <laughs> And then if you're online on your Facebook and you you love challenges like me, if you're joining a five-day challenge, you can connect with those people inside the group. <laughs> but of course, make sure that you you introduce yourself or you at least share some, you know, something that they can use, you know, that will be helpful to them. So as for me, I usually share some mind maps of my notes during the challenge. So I do that usually. So there are people that I already connected with because of that. So anything you'd like to add, Cisco? Yeah, it's, I'm a late bloomer. It's only like, it took me years before I understood the importance of networking. <laughs> before, when I go to events, I just really attend the event, watch the consume the content being shown <laughs> on stage or on screen. That's the type of uh, participant I was before, years ago. But And then I, I was always curious, why are these people um, getting contact details from each other? I cannot really grasp um, the importance of that. But years later, I, I began to understand, oh, networking. <laughs> networking yes. is really important. Even if you're um, attending trainings like or yes. seminars. 
Yes. Why not connect with those? Co- because before, my thinking is only, I'm attending the seminar because I'm learning from the one who is conducting the seminar. That's the, that's my mindset back then. I, 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 I am not really keen on knowing the other participants, <laughs> things like that, because again, I'm an introvert, maybe. Maybe that's the reason, but that's my mindset back then. And then I realized that through networking, that's already, um, it, it, I, I'm, I'm not sure who said that, but sometimes success is really because of, um, um, brought by who you know and not necessarily what you know. <laughs> yes. You become more successful depending on who you know and not necessarily what you know. You could be the best um at the 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 expert in this software but if you don't know anyone <laughs> who can vouch for your expertise or who could refer you um chances are you'll be just you'll just be um you'll find yourself struggling each time so it's who you know and not just what you know so this yes. that's the importance of networking <laughs> Yes, this is this is something that I still need to overcome, especially when it comes to face to face, because I'm afraid of crowds for for the information of our viewers. <laughs> I can only connect with people that I already know, but I'm not the first person who will introduce myself. <laughs> if people are asking me, okay, I can answer, but I will not be the first person oh. to do something to connect. <laughs> so this is something that I must admit I have yet. You'll to get there. You'll get there. That was yes. me at first. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a recap. What are these eight unusual ways to get online projects? First is online profiles which should be must be optimized then personal network or referrals three is tools or apps online to meet people fourth is inhabitants or what we call usually call group or community and then we have m for messaging called emailing called outreach or direct or instant messaging. Sixth is inquiries. When we do our research, when we um, manually scraping information. And seven is different. This is what we need to be a zealous freelancer and persuasive freelancer. And then eight is events both online and offline. So before... We go ahead with our next tip, which we have, which um, please, please do visit my book at conizabala.com slash VA book to get more information what this book is about. For our listeners, this is forwarded. Is if if there is a word forwarded, <laughs> I'm not sure. This is forward by John Pagulayan. So make sure that you check that out at conizabala.com slash VA book available on ebook, Kindle, print, and audiobook. Okay, so we have the bonus tip. So we shared earlier that as we research our clients, our ideal clients, as we get their contact information or any uh, online pages that they have, we have to make sure that we record them. Not just for, for um, we have to record them because it's easier to track and, and it's easier to, to monitor. So, for example, if we're, we have this 30-minute prospecting time every single day, we have to update that file. What, where are we? In prospecting like for example have you sent your next message who is the last message or is it seen zone or did you share one tip did you share a lead magnet something like that or does the client or the prospect didn't respond something like that you have to make sure that you take note of those um, updates or activities that you did when connecting with them 
So it's easier to go back and recall uh, the last contact you've made with your prospects or possible clients. So it's speaking of that, I have a sheet which I shared on this book. Uh, you can use initially <laughs> to, to record your prospects. So just go to... This is my bonus tip to make sure to record everything. So you can use this initial sheet here. Go to bit.ly slash prospects info. So that's bit.ly forward slash p-r-o-s-p-e-c-t-s-i-n-f-o. So the, you don't have to, to sign up or everything. That is direct link to the sheet. So you can wow. uh, make up copy. Make sure that you you create your own copy. Don't use that sheet. <laughs> That's my copy. You have to create your own copy. <laughs> so go ahead. Um, get your own copy at bit.ly slash prospects info. I feel like I'm recording my audiobook. <laughs> so, so that's my uh, last thought. Um, do you have other tip that you'd like to add? Yeah, I'll just emphasize on because the optimized um, tips that Sis Connie and I shared a while ago is all about making ourselves visible. <laughs> so visibility is opportunity. Always remember that, brothers and sisters. And if I may, I, I actually Googled a quote about visibility, the power of visibility can never be as underestimated. That was from Margaret Cho. And another one, I love this also. Um, visibility, you've got to find a way to make people know that you're there. <laughs> okay. Because we're, again, we are online service providers. So people won't know unless we show up. <laughs> Yes, I believe I have a quote. Let me check. Go, go, go. Oh, so it's really important that, by the way, um, freelancing is not uh, stable because if we are not consistent in finding clients, so the stability relies on us because we are the business owner, okay? So we need to be consistent. And if you are consistent in finding clients and recording their information and connecting with them, also make sure that um, you record that, you document your process so that in the future, should you have more clients that you cannot um, serve anymore or perhaps you'd like to let go of the prospecting aspect, of your freelancing business, you can delegate that part to another person. So you're giving another person an opportunity, okay? So in relation to being consistent, I think this is the Bible verse that I was able to add on my book. So for God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a power of love and self-control from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. So um for by the way for for those who are not checking out my book yet so every chapter it has a bible verse instead of the usual ins inspirational quotes so there <laughs> that's it for us share with us your biggest takeaway during this live session share them in the comment section oh by the way before we end um we are going 2 years on our youtube channel so, for our viewers and our listeners, um, if you're getting value from our content, if you want us to continue sharing this type of content, please, please connect with us. Let us know. You can make a comment on our YouTube video here or you can email us at Connie and Bell at freelancingwithfaith.com or you can... Uh, uh, Send a private message to our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and, and, and share your thoughts with us. We want to know if, if, you're, if you want us to continue. Because on our second year, if we don't hear from you or, or we don't have enough response to rely on, we might pivot a little bit. <laughs> But it's still about, you know, we cannot let go of, of our main 
love for digital marketing or for online or freelancing business. So it's still about that. Just a little pivot that yeah. might happen. So let us know. Do you want us to pivot or do you want us to retain this type of content? We we really love to hear from you. So there. <laughs> Whew. Wow, we lasted for one hour. That's a lot of discussion. <laughs> okay, let's have a closing prayer, Isabel. Can you uh, can you take over? Let's remember that we're in the presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for another episode done successfully. Thank you for the opportunity to share our knowledge and experience about the freelancing business. Thank you to all the people who support us in our mission. Thank you for the chance to bless others through this platform. We lift up to you all our viewers, our listeners, and their loved ones. Continue to bless them in all areas of their lives. Whatever their petitions are right now, we pray with them, believing that whatever happens, you always have the best intentions for us. We lift up to you all these, but in the end, your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. And if the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Yay! So we hope to see you on Monday for another live praise and worship session. So if you want us to sing some of your favorite songs, let us know. Please do connect with us. And again, and again, we want to hear from you. Please get in touch with us. Anything you'd like to say, Isabel? Just get in touch <laughs> I want to, just to emphasize please comment leave leave comments connect with us on so on our social media accounts yes please, we really yeah. do want to hear from you we are not kidding <laughs> make yourselves um bueno, felt <laughs> be visible yes <laughs> Again, uh, by the way, um, the international, the online international virtual assistant conference is starting. So if you're interested about that, you can join and visit bit.ly slash OIVAC 2022. So that's it for us. See you on Monday. Bye, everyone. God bless.